quite a weird one today. I'm going uh, knowing when to say no. And with the experience I've had with tenants, I'm pretty clear as to when I do say no. But it's something that in the early days you're probably going to be a little bit unsure about. So today we have a really lovely flat. The tenant has um, passed all of their... Oh, here's my friend Oscar. <laughs> I'm just going to lift. I'm doing a video. The video doesn't stop. <laughs> that was my friend Oscar. <laughs> I'm just about to go lifting with him. He's running. What's he doing running? <laughs> Lifters don't run. All right. So back to learning how to say no. <laughs> Sorry, it does make me laugh. So it, it's, the tenant has um, is going to be moving in with his girlfriend, paid the deposit, paid the you know signed the contract, paid the first month's rent, to, passed all the deposit, the, the clearance checks. Oscar's put me off, see? And gets then, and I have the nicest, politest guy that does the check-ins. I mean, such a sweetheart. And he's horribly aggressive to him. Hor dreadfully aggressive. And we just think, no, 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 there's something wired wrong here. You know, I mean, you'd struggle to be aggressive with, with Michael. He's such a lovely guy. And um, so we're just like, mate, um, well, I I'm take my, my team's safety, both their emotional and their physical safety, incredibly incredibly seriously and we just know that we're going to evict this guy in six months time because he's aggressive and then the weirdest thing is his girlfriend then phones up uh, who isn't even there and apologizes for him and you're just thinking she's done this before this is a pattern of behavior i would ha you know i don't even want to consider what possibly happens inside that relationship oh god forbid that was anyone you cared about but she's done this before um this is not no this is this is normal behavior for this guy so I would rather, I want, to, I want these people out. Legally, we're contracted in, um, but they're like, oh, we don't really want to stay there. And we're like, brilliant. Okay, if you write to us and then give us the keys back and confirm in writing that you do not want to live there without prejudice, um, if we, will, if we tell them this without prejudice. Um, and once we've got the keys back, we will refund every single bit of your money. Gone, goodbye. And that's exactly what happened. And that is the best outcome because otherwise we'd have had six months of somebody whose behavior was appallingly aggressive uh, and probably, possibly some difficulty in violence inside the home. And then my flat would have gotten beaten up and my, my team would have been emotionally beaten up. Um, so that solved the problem, but no need for it, is there? So I'm now gonna go lifting. But if you've got a problem tenant, let oh. <laughs> Go on, Oscar. <laughs> if you got I problems, love <laughs> he does not love running. You got, you're on video. Start to train. <laughs> if you have problem tenants, just decide whether you're going to work with them or not. Me, no. Good quality people like me.